speak about hybrid picking. So basically hybrid picking means using the pick and the fingers. And I usually use my bad mother finger and the ring finger in combination with the pick. And the actual plucking motion isn't done with a nail. Uh, it's, it's rather a flesh kind of thing. I love the flesh! And what's so cool with this technique is, uh, well, for one thing, it, it enables, you know, doing different kind of, different sounding licks. And also, it's a pretty dynamic technique because you can hit the string kind of hard with your, uh, with your fingers, with the flesh. Uh, also, uh, that's the reason why I'm using a rather, you know, clean setting today on my amplifier. I just have a little bit of overdrive and that's it. So no, no tons of distortion. Okay, so the scale we're going to be using in today's hybrid picking lesson is a modified pentatonic scale. So this is identical to the A minor pentatonic scale, except on the three top string we're adding one note per string. So we get one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, instead of the normal one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay? Now the reason I'm using this scale is because uh, it adds a, a crazy flavor with, uh, with the outside notes. And also, since it's identical on the top three strings, it's pretty easy to play, you know, quickly with it. So let's have a look at the first lick. This is a 16th note triplet pattern, which we're going to be starting on the 5th fret G string. So, pick, hammer on, hammer on, flesh, pull off, pull off, pull off. And then we're going to do the same thing, but with a string skip. So we do up to the E string and use the flesh up there too. So we get... So practice this one very slowly with a metronome like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and I, when playing this fast, I use very little picking. I use less picking than what I just showed you now with the slowly. Uh, so if I imitate the metronome, it sounds like this. <laughs> Pretty crazy sounding metronome there. Okay, so once you get this together, uh, you can have this kind of crazy sound. And, and that's a cool thing, you can move it around chromatically if you want to really create some crazy sounds. Uh, or, you know, just... Um, Use it very high up the neck. This one is especially good if you want to scare your neighbor's pets. I find it very useful for that. Okay, so that's the number one lick. Um, we're going to go over to another lick now. Now, the one we just looked at was a fairly simple one. Simple doesn't mean, you know, it's easy to play. It's really difficult to play. you got to practice it a lot. But it was just one pattern which repeated. What we're going to examine now actually involves different patterns in plural. So that's going to be trickier. We're going to divide this lick up in three sub-patterns. And, and the goal is going to be to play something like this. Or... Uh, 
something like that. And uh, now, the very first thing we're going to do is a very rhythmical lick. And we really have some good use of the hybrid technique in this one. We're starting on the 7th fret on the E string, and we go directly with a hybrid finger on the E string, like this. Hammer on, pull off, pull off. some serious time on that one. Let's go over to the next. Uh, this kind of lick isn't a hybrid picking lick. I just throw it in between there uh, because it's a nice way to speed things up. Uh, so if we, what we've done so far is this. So it's this kind of thing starting on the 8th fret and then just legato. Okay? And it's a 16th note triplet pattern. Pretty common thing. So if we combine it slowly, we get this. And you can continue that down in the scale I showed you. So, no hybrid picking in this one. Have some strong, uh, strong pinky. You can do it like this. Okay. Now the last sub pattern which we're gonna examine is a rather melodic thing, which goes like this. You can hear a clear melody movement there. So we get So from the 8th fret B string we get Every other note is played with a pick and every other with a flesh So we get first two notes are played with the same finger, so you have to practice angling there. Once again, let's spend some serious time with these three licks, and then try to add them together. So the patterns I showed you until now, they are all very cool to combine in the scale. And when I'm attempting to do something with the hybrid picking technique, uh, I, uh, I I don't have any I don't I don't you know have any specific order of the patterns, or I'm not thinking I'm going to play the number two five times and then number three. I'm just trying to do something, and hopefully, if I've been practicing seriously enough it's gonna sound okay because my fingers is gonna find their, their way into those licks. Okay, you know that's one of the great advantages with uh, with hybrid picking technique that uh, it makes you write incredible songs like that one. I love the flesh. I would never have done that without you know the hybrid picking technique. So.
thanks to the hybrid picking, I now have a billion dollar MTV hit, I Love the Flesh. You're going to be seeing more of that one. <laughs> and I'm going to be seeing more of you. See you soon. Cheers.